today. And we are live. So once again, guys, thank you guys for joining me. Uh, here I am with my boy uh, Raven. Oh, sorry. And we so guys. are live. So and for today's video, what do we have, uh, Raven? Uh, I think for today's video, you guys, you wanted to address some stuff going on with uh, the company, which we've been, what we've been up to and stuff. Oh yeah, yeah. So essentially, uh, wait, that? Video, you guys, you wanted to address some stuff wait, going I'm kind of uh, number company. three. Okay. Yeah, number three now. Yeah. So <laughs> for the most part, <laughs> just give you a, a quick update of oh, yeah, what yeah. being so what we've uh, been up to, wait, and more than anything, just engage uh, with, with, with the audience, with their, you know, with their family, so with their supporters, because yeah. without them, we wouldn't be here. Mm. And um, so we're, we're been working a lot on, on quite a few new products. We're, we're jumping into the, w what it's, um, truck hugs. We're coming up with the white bodies, wheels, um, diffusers, suspension, uh, air suspension to uh, coil overs, anything that has to do with performance. Anything uh, for cosmetic wheels, uh, as well, uh, mm -hmm. which uh, and uh, suspension, uh, yeah, air suspension to uh, coil overs. Anything yeah. has to do with performance. So um, so let's go over uh, some things that I wanted to talk about well, in regards to. Uh, uh, let me see if I can yeah. pull up some topics here. Let me go wide. I don't know if you. We're going live on both um, IG and YouTube. IG and YouTube. So guys, so keep in mind that we're trying the best that we can to be. Um, we're the aspect ratio might be a little off, IG and but for the most part. So let's let's talk about the. Uh, what, what do you think of the muscle cars going electric? The aspect ratio might be a little off, but for the most part. So oh, let's, let's sorry, talk about sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank what do you. Think of the how do I mute that? How do you mute it? Going electric. Wait, how do I mute it? Sorry. How do I mute that? How do you mute it? Oh, okay, okay. I think I got it. Is it better now? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Can you check? Hello, hello. Welcome. IG, let's see. Questions. Is it muted? Second gen wide body. Probably could be in the works right now. Is, there still, is there still an echo? Uh, wait. Guys, are we still, do, do we still have an echo on the, on the live? No. How's it playing though? Hello? Hmm. Is there still any echoes? No. You I just sure? said that. I have the headphones on. No, but uh, um, what's this? Um, Thomas came and said that there was some echoes going on. Yeah, earlier there was. Are you sure? Yeah, and I don't hear no echoes at all. Okay. Okay. Nate so Morales underscore 52. Does the fenders fit on a slim body, or do you have to do mods for them to fit without the SRG bumper? Okay. For what? For the charger? Uh, For charger or challenger? Well, either or. Uh, or either or. S what was the question? What, what was the... Do the, the fenders fit on a slim body, so like narrow body? Or do you have to do mods for them to fit without the SRT bumper? So for the 2126 fenders, you don't need the SRT bumper. You can just put them on the uh, your car. The only white body kit that does require you need the bumpers is the VZ10 2199. And then for the fender flares, for the Challenger... I believe you do need to get the bumper because it's think because of the new R the newer design of the R1 and L1 fender. So, okay, keep going at the questions. Let me let me check with Thomas real quick, okay? Yeah. To see if it Thomas, are we good? Yeah, talking in the background. Yeah, we fixed that right now. Do you guys make 2021 style Dodge Charger bumpers without the white body kit? Uh, yes, we do. SRTT.Ricky. Yes, we do. We have it. I just, I forgot what the part number was. But we do have that, like the style of the front bumper and the rear bumper without going white body. We do carry that in stock. Let's see, what tires you guys carry for the white body wheels? Uh, I know it's 305s by, I don't know. I, I'm not that tire person. I don't know that much about tires and rims. Appreciate Tate, do you, get, do you ship parts to the UK? Yes, we do. Ship worldwide. Yeah, we ship worldwide. We ship to like Canada, Dubai, Japan, UK, Europe. 
Yeah, we sh- we ship. I think there's only wide. some yeah. countries we don't ship to because of the shipping companies. For, I mean, for the most part, I would say it, um, that any anywhere that honestly, but uh, it's really tr- uh, tricky when, especially when oversized items. Yeah, it's the oversized like, items. Like hoods, bumpers, anything oversized, uh, fenders, doors, mm-hmm. trunks. Um, it's really it gets really expensive because we don't really get uh, like you don't get charged for the total weight mm-hmm. but for the overall overall size of the product and that's what's really expensive um but if we now it's really it's not going back uh, going back to the shipping right mm-hmm. for uk anything Euro- europe we're looking for distributors you know worldwide so if you're a business and you want to carry your products you can always fill out the application go over to our website scroll all the way to to the bottom uh where it says uh it says like b2b or apply for a distributor i would have to look that into but then you can fill out an application if you're a business and if you want to make i mean you want to make a good amount of money make sure to go over to to our website and apply to become a distributor and that applies any anywhere in the world like worldwide so let me especially for the people on youtube um let me see if i can go for uh I know it's going to be cropped in, so bear with us, guys. So if I can just show this. If you scroll all the way to the bottom, if you're a business and you want to uh, become a distributor, all you have to do is just click right here where it says become a dealer. And right after, let me close this down. Sorry, guys. So many programs. Also. Yeah, so become a dealer. And you're pretty much you're gonna be carrying all of our products, including our vinyl pr- product line, our suspensions, body kits, white body kits, uh, OEM replacement parts too that we're also working on. And you would have to just apply it to become a dealer. And let's pull up. It's gonna pull up a form that you just have to fill out. If you're a business, then once you you fill out, you uh, receive a response within 24 to 48 hours, uh, to and then you have access to our entire uh, product line. So yeah, any any other questions, Raven? Uh, so Daytona Puppet 392. Do you guys recommend installers for the wide body kit throughout California? Yes, we do. We do, and um, we actually have a quite a standard uh, list of um, body shops. It recommended there. shops that we work with. So if you just give just give us a call to a customer service team, uh, they will be more than gladly assist you. We we have a extended list throughout the the United States. So just call our customer support and they'll be able to just to better assist you. Mm-hmm. And official underscore L, I need good rims for a Q50. So head over to the website. We have a wide variety of rims for all cars. Yeah, and I mean, I, I know you can't really see here, but if you go over YouTube, so most of, so most of it, this wheels that you see in the back, let me see if I can. Our rims that, are, that we carry. Carry, we have a uh, two piece. Which this one right here, I believe is a. No, that's a three piece. No. Two piece or three. No, two, piece. two piece. Two piece. Yeah, this is a two piece. Yeah, and uh, we have two piece. Three sorry, piece. Two piece. One one piece. Two piece. Three piece forged wheels, and y- and they're fully customizable. Different color schemes you want. Yeah, you can really get it to, to you know your taste. Mm-hmm. Just like, uh, Burger King. Burger King. What what's what's your the slogan? Do your weight or something like that. I have no idea what you're talking you about. Know, uh, you don't remember? <laughs> okay. No. It was a pretty big uh, like ad campaign for that. Hmm. Underscore CMC23, how far does the wide body year go? What I'm do you mean? guessing he's at, like, are you asking how, uh, what year does it start at? Like for the Challenger or for the Charger? i guessing for Charger and Challenger or Charger. Because I know on the website, too, they do show it right there. Okay, and, and then um, going back to, uh, okay, so one of our topics topics that we were going to be discussing, uh, Raven, was what do you think of all the muscle cars going electric? Uh, so for me, my opinion is that I don't like it. I really don't like it. Why not? I don't know. I feel like because it's everyone wants to become electric. I mean, yeah, I don't, you know, I don't see no problem with everyone going electric. But then I know, like, when I hear, like, all the research that goes behind it, you get everyone talking about it. Some people even say, like, there's a, it's like a 50 50 argument that, like, oh, yeah, it's so good that we're getting into electric now. But then other halves are saying that, like, 
we shouldn't like we're still not ready for electric cars like we still need a couple more years like for to uh, advance on it well like i know tesla is as pure electric but i'm sure it's because tesla studied and you know they did their research and everything chart like for dodge uh ford and everything else that's going electric they're just jumping into it i don't think they've ever done research like there hasn't been no studies for them it's just after like the whole tesla making so much uh, money on their electric cars and then everyone wants a tesla now dodge and um all the other ford and all the other cars that want to go electric they just think like okay well since everyone wants teslas we're losing we're gonna lose money let's just go electric so I don't know. Like no one. I mean, the only electric car that I, I've seen besides Tesla is like Ford. So they have that Mach three uh, SUV or well, Mustang Mach three. Yeah, the SUV. I don't, I don't think it's a Mach three. Is it Mach one? No, Mach one is the Mustang, right? Mach one is the Mustang. Mach three is what they call the SUV. The one you said you wanted to get to be like a next project car. If, I think if if I if I get another car, it's gonna be the Cybertruck. Cybertruck or uh, Hurricane? Hurricane? Hurricane. Hurricane, yeah. Yeah. But most likely the Cybertruck. So it looks kind of like futuristic. <laughs> and so going back to the muscle cars going electric, you don't care about the environment? <laughs> you want to try to make this, <laughs> this <laughs> political? I don't know. Environmental? What the <laughs> hell did you uh, go through? Tell that to, to California, to the government, government, Newsom, that there. Your we can't. Uh, we cannot even have a exhaust system. Like if your your exhaust system is too loud, right? Your you exhaust system too loud. Like and supposedly that's like illegal for mods like that. But you know, no one cares because a lot of people are gonna have those mods. Like everyone's gonna keep buying them. They don't care what like the the rules say because in reality too, it's like it's my car. I paid for it, so I'm, I could do whatever I want with it. Yeah, but uh, under on you know. In regards to environmental issues, right? That's what they're, I guess, excuse that they want to use. Yeah. But uh, according to the to the state law here in California, after 2023, there's you're not going to be able to purchase any um, uh, combusted engine vehicles, right? Is that true? I don't know. I've never heard about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 2023. No, no, I'm sorry. 2030. By 2030. By 2030, yeah. So like in six years, basically. Yeah. So if uh, let me let me look that up actually. Because I have not heard that law at all. Yeah. All I know is that I I just feel like maybe we still had, we could still have more time, for like, you know, just regular muscle cars, or if anything, they should just discontinue muscle cars. Then why the hell are you gonna make a muscle car electric? There's not a no muscle car then. It's just gonna be an electric car. It's still a muscle car though, in a way. Not really. So, if they just want if they want to end up doing that, they should just you know just continue muscle cars. Dodge should just discontinue muscle cars because they're the ones who have their Dodge Charger Banshee coming out, which apparently they call it an electric muscle car. Ford is still going with uh, gas-powered um, mu- uh, Mustangs, which is nice. They're, they're Dark Horse and then the other uh, GT. Should we get a Banshee? That's a, should, should we get a Banshee? What do you think? You don't think that would be a good move or what? If you want. And then we got to come out with all like the... I know one of the products uh, the other day when I went live on Monday, a lot of people were asking us if we could make the Banshee style front bumper, the front and rear bumper for the Charger. You don't think they'll they'll look a little weird? I don't know. We don't can't knock it till you try it. Okay, and and I apologize, guys, for the, for the people live on um, on YouTube. Um, and I don't have glasses, but can I still drive my gasoline car after twenty thirty five? Yes, California's only requiring that. What? All new cars sold in 2035 and beyond are zero emission vehicles, which include, well, I'm trying to read and you just. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Which includes battery electric vehicles, plug-in hybrid electric vehicles, and fuel cell. Wait. So, can I still drive my gasoline car after 2035? After 2035. So, I I thought it was 2030. So, California is only requiring that all new cars sold in 2035 and beyond are zero emission so wait so after 2035 california is saying that all new cars sold in 2035 and beyond 
are zero emission vehicles, which includes battery electric vehicles, plug-in hybrids, vehicles, and fuel. So that means by 2035, after 2035, yeah, that they're saying that all cars in California have to be. Yeah. That all of them have to be basically electrics. So essentially, you're not going to be able to buy any... Basically, all these gas stations yeah. are going to go away, and they'll probably turn into charging stations. So charging stations is it's where it's at right now, then. Well, not right now. In a, in a few years from now. Yeah. They're not right now, because think about it. Like, every time you go to a mall, how many charging stations are there? Like, only... Well, for malls, like 20. 20? Like 20 charging stations. That's all there is. I, and then you I go... Think I mean, and I mean, then you go to some parking lots, and there's only like five. Um, here in California, I would say that I think it's charging stations are everywhere. No, that's what I'm saying. Like slowly, they're building up. Yeah. Slowly, they're like building up. That's what I'm saying. Like if you go to like a mall, there'll be like 20 uh, slots for like the charging stations. You go to like a, just like a small little business parking lot, you'll probably see like one or two. And then, and then some, something I wanted to touch bases on, I don't know if you heard, I mean, I know it's been going on for a while now, but it, it's, it's been kind of trending to uh, Apple Car. Have you, he have you heard of uh, Apple Car? I remember hearing the news come out a while back that Apple wanted to now make a, like their own vehicle because since Google was like the first one to come out with that idea, like a phone, like a, you know, like a phone company or something like that, that they wanted to make their own vehicle. Cause I remember Google did that first, and then after Google really, yeah, I think Go Google was the one who wanted to, who were who came up with the idea of making like their own car, and then afterwards Apple was like, oh, you know what, let's make our own car then too. Which I feel like is gonna suck for Apple because I don't. You know. I mean, okay, I, I I at the beginning I was an Android fan, mm -hmm. but then uh, so I think I started with the uh, iPhone 12 mm -hmm. or 11. I mean, I really liked it because of the camera. No, yeah. But other than that, I, st I still kind of prefer Android, but it, now I'm only Apple now. Mm -hmm. And then I have the 14 Pro Max, but I don't think I'm going to upgrade to the 15 just because I think... It's the 15 just came out. Yeah, it just ca it not only just came out, but it, it feels like it's just the same thing. It's just the same thing because uh, one of our coworkers got the iPhone 15 and we compared the cameras because that's what we were looking into, the cameras, because it's like we shoot everything with our iPhones. The cameras almost look exactly the same. It's just, I think what it is, is just that one of the camera lenses, I think on the 15 just makes everything look a little bit more wider. And then like the white trend, like uh, contrast, like white contrast or something. And then the 14 Pro Max has like a bluish contrast. Well, I, oh, you mean like a white balance? Like, so I mean, one like if you face one of our like st studio lights on the wall and you see how like the wall will turn white. And then you look at the 14 Pro Max and you see like a little bit blue in it. And then you use the 15 Pro Max and it's just like whitish, like more. Again, I, I know, I know what you're referring to. So when it comes to, uh, you're referring to the white balance, the, um, the four, the 15 Pro Max, it's a, li it's a, it's a slightly more warm compared to the, to the 14 Pro Max. From my experience, from, from what I've seen, uh, I believe that the, 14 pro max has a better white balance compared to the 15 pro max mm -hmm. just because i i I've tr I tried both and i that's why that's the only reason i, I don't think i'm i'm going to be upgrading um but in regard so I, I just saw a really quite interesting question here from one of our followers here at deadpool underscore daytona and he says would you guys ever open a store in miami it's funny that you ask from Miami, I'm from well, not from Miami. Technically, sort of from Miami. You and lived uh, most of your your years here in California in Miami. No, no. So I, w I grew up in Miami. Miami is the place to be if you want to have fun. Hmm. If you want to have a lot of fun, Miami is where you have to be. But other than that, I mean, the beauty with what we do, we can be anywhere and reach anywhere. So it doesn't matter where we have a store. We we focus just on online. Um, sales mm -hmm. so right now officially we're in california and the midwest and oklahoma but uh maybe i don't know east coast we we o we're thinking of opening up at the um east coast location but for the most part if we were to would be florida i don't know if it's highly likely more it would be more um i mean if it north, was florida it's north. not gonna be miami yeah miami nah it'll probably be like northern no no like north. up north i want to I, I, 
I'm thinking about maybe Georgia or North Carolina or Virginia, maybe. Mm-hmm. But uh, as of right now, yeah, we, we, we Miami. It's a it's a little. So open up a warehouse, a location over in the in the East Coast. That's gonna like we're gonna have to like wait like a couple of years. Yeah, yeah. Because the location that we got in Oklahoma, we barely had that for a year. We just opened that one up, and we still, you know, mm-hmm. getting um, settled there. But we're still looking into opening up a location in the mid in the east, east coast. coast. East coast, yeah. But I want to say North Carolina. North Carolina, there's they, ha- they have a huge uh, car scene as well. They have a huge car scene, but then you say like North Carolina does nothing to do. No man, there's a lot to do in North Carolina. Huh. Yeah, when I was in Georgia, was it Georgia, or Atlanta, Atlanta? Well, ha- when you guys at the Motorhead, no? Yeah, yeah, Atlanta. <laughs> what I liked about Atlanta was that. <laughs> If you go anywhere, there was always uh, crab legs, mm-hmm. strip clubs, and steaks. <laughs> that was pretty fun, man. Crab legs, strip clubs, and steaks? Yeah. What? No bars? Oh, yeah, of course bars, but... Um, no, in the strip clubs, they will serve you <laughs> scra- uh, king crab legs and steaks. <laughs> and there was one time that I went to a strip club, and there was a shooting. Oh. <laughs> And I still went in, even though there was a shooting. It was kind of weird, but it was kind of fun, too. <laughs> uh, D underscore Karen. Can I fit wide body tires on my Charger SXD all-wheel drive? Can you what? Fit uh, wide body tires on a Charger SXD all-wheel drive. Yeah, wide body wheels. Yeah. Wide body wheels on yeah. an SXD. Yeah. Um, you would need the wide body kit and the wide body wheels, which we have. Mm-hmm. So if you want to go uh, wide body, I would recommend uh, the twenty one cat yeah wide body kit, which is the BC ten twenty one ninety nine, and for the wheels you can go either or with the rims are twenty by eleven with negative twenty by eleven, mm-hmm. and we which we also have we have all that BCN ten no one hundred seven nine two BCN one hundred seven nine one BCN seven one hundred seven nine three. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I would say that the only just to kind of like clarify too that if since it's an SXT, you won't have to worry about like cutting your fenders to make the fitments work because it's the SXT stocked wise on the base that they're already lifted enough. It's only going to be like the upper mores. It's going to be so GT and SXT you don't have to cut SRT and up for the models. Uh, you will have to cut that. Or you can go with uh, lower profile um, tires, or air, uh, like uh, back. Air, air, you want yeah, air bag suspension or air suspension kits as well. Air suspension, yeah. If you have an air suspension, w- which we also offer, you can go. I mean, you can go low or high. I would stick it in between, and then you don't have to cut. But that's gonna be a a, a little bit more expensive. It's gonna cost you a little bit more. A little bit more. But if you're a bowler like my boy over here, uh, Raven, then you should be fine. Um, let me see. When when is the Jeep Trahawk coming out? That should be out already. It, it well. Or no. I th- I think we get this question pretty much in, on every stream. On so every stream, yeah, we do get that question a lot about like when is the that either we should make an SRT Trackhawk wide body kit, which we do mention a lot that we already, it's already in production. You know, we were you go pre-order we it. A, a pre-order page. That's yeah. right. It's on, on the website already. It's already on for pre-order. Yeah. So let me give me you guys one second. Let me let me pull it up real quick. I don't even remember the part number. So, uh, 10, 19, 24. Okay. So let me pull it up real quick right over here. And for the guys on uh, IG and or YouTube. Keep in mind, we're streaming on both on YouTube and, and IG. T- and IG, and so the aspect ratio, I have to adjust it. Mm-hmm. So let me go on the, on the, so you guys can see this. So here we have the tr- the white body kit, and the part number for the white body kit for the Trahawks is BC ten nineteen twenty four. It's currently pre ordered We have already have quite quite a few pre orders. So if you're interested on getting one. I'd highly suggest pre-ordering it now because otherwise you're gonna not necessarily miss out, but you're gonna you're not gonna be the, the first ones to get it. And it's like a hundred dollars sale right now. Yeah. So and then you save too, because once it goes live, 
it's going to be a little more pricey. But uh, and also we have the wheels. We also have the wheels and the tires. What, yeah. What's good about <laughs> so the dur f the Durango and the Jeep tra Jeeps, mm -hmm. they have the same fitment. So since we already have the Jeep wide body wheels, they would also fit the um, like a Durango as well. That do no no the the Trahawk. Oh, so the Durango, so whatever, the yeah. Durango rails and wim, uh, rims, they Are should fit the SRG uh, Grand Trahawk. Trahawk. Oh, yes, okay. correct, correct. I did not know that. Yeah. So, yeah. So if if you're planning on getting those, then you should be fine. Um. Any any more Q and A's there? All right. One question from Johnny underscore Dresser underscore eleven. How does your carbon fiber look compared to Anderson Composites? Who's Anderson Composites? That's a really good question. Anderson Composites. I mean, you can look them up real quick. Yeah, I'm gonna look them up. But Anderson um, Composites. let me let me touch over some topics that we wanted to discuss today. Test on the job. So try being okay. Okay, Raven, mm -hmm. while you look that up, okay, thoughts on self-driving vehicles. Would you ever let your car drive itself? Eventually in the future, I will. Like, have you ever seen, like, those old movies like iRobot and then, um, there's, oh, I forgot what, like, other movies. They have, like, the, uh, the car driving by themselves, but yet you could also still put it in manual mode. Like, you, you know, like, those movies take place, like, so far off into the future. Yeah. It's AI driving, but then you can still switch to manual mode. So, uh, right now, I would still prefer driving myself, but eventually in the future, like, when, like, the AI self-driving is, like, finally, like, complete, like, you know, no bugs, no viruses, no lags or anything like that, then eventually I'll get it. But I would also prefer having the option as well to do manual driving. Because if not, then you're just going to get lazy. But uh, not necessarily lazy, but I would say it's more convenient more than anything, right? If you ha if you got a lot going on, mm -hmm. and if you just want to sit down and just enjoy the ride while you, you're being, you know, productive... I oh, think yeah. that's definitely going to, uh, you know, benefit a lot of people. Um, so there's some uh, topics or team curate for, for today's uh, show or podcast or whatever you want to call it. So here we have mechanical problems, compilation, customer customer states, and car guys, funny moments. Let me see what the, what this is. So like some reaction videos for yeah, you. Yeah, so let's see what they have here. I'm sorry for the... Deadpool. For Deadpool. <laughs> Depending which one you want to play, it's in the corner. <sighs> so okay. I don't know. I don't know if you guys can hear this, but I know for the people on on Instagram, they might not be able to see this. So let me. Can they see this? I don't know. I think this is for car. Yeah, I don't know if they can. They can. See, oh, maybe they can. Can they hear this? No, nah, for sure they can't hear it. Bec uh, and if if we put the audio for the video, it's gonna it's gonna create an echo, guys. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Is that for the horn? Oh shoot! So what is that like? Uh, Brake fluid? Believe it or not, guys, I'm not a car guy. Or so me or a mechanic in some or way. Or a mechanic. So I don't know. This is like uh, another language for me. My airbag. God damn! What a an airbag with liquid inside of it. Right. That looks like something else, though. And when your side mirror decides to what? My mirror is so lazy. So I guess, well, damn, that's actually <laughs> kind of smart. <laughs> Disconnect the lawnmower onto it and drive around your property. I think that's pretty smart, actually. <laughs> and then this, what is this, Raven? No, it's a for dents. 2023 and still glitching like there's no tomorrow. A Tesla. Yeah, I can. Mm. The windows are glitching, basically. Mm. 
And then onto this episode of what? Did the car turn on? I guess it's turning on now. It's not working. No. Twenty twenty three Jeep G C transfer casing liquid chain service. Uh, no, I'm guessing the part like broke and all the pieces are starting to come out. Yeah. Hmm. Dang. Uh, oil is that like that's oil, oil? from like when you, need oil? From you do your oil change dang that's just they haven't done their oil in a long time corvette corvette what c8 c7 or c6 that's a mother no the corvette though did you see it no the, the, they were measuring it for and then that one is what, uh, Yukon now. Tough. <laughs> they don't have a front bumper, so they just made one out of paper. GMC? <laughs> GMC. It's kind of funny. And. So this will be a what, uh. CDs? No, fuck it. No, I no those way. are grinders. I know they're grinders, but there's no effing way that they're going to play. It's rock metal, hard metal. <laughs> Look at those. Even? What the heck? Don't leave your car in gears. Holy sh And then is that like a motorcycle? <laughs> God <What> damn. <laughs> so those saying that it what? It will never work. It's actually working. <laughs> He's going sideways. Is he drifting? I'm trying to see if we have some other questions. Yeah, Q and Do you have any Q and A's there? No. <sighs> and then. Hello, hello, everyone who's joining the live right now. Welcome, welcome. Yeah, so um, any t anything else you'd like to touch base on in regards, I mean, what we've been up to? Okay, so something I wanted to, I mean, I guess, touch PSA, base on. public service announcement. Uh, we're going to do in the, we're going to be doing the announcement for the sweepstakes winner on oh Friday. Oh, the sweepstakes winner that a lot of people. On Friday, which is $15,000, which is a lot, and store credit. Uh, I don't know what you're going to buy, but uh, it's, a, like, it's a good amount of money. Mm -hmm. And all you have to do to join, if you haven't already done, you would have to go to two over two. Let me pull it out real quick before you for before before I forget, because yeah, that's definitely something I wanted to touch bases on. So for the people on YouTube, or I'm sorry, for Instagram, so go over to our website. Then I think you have to do just click right here on where it says uh summer sweepstakes enter today and uh, um, this is ending on friday well early friday because we're going to be announcing the winner and you just all you have to do is just fill out this form in order to participate and that's pretty much supposedly it. the submissions and eight twenty. <laughs> yeah we, we're we're a little late because we there was a move move that's what they kept asking then submission yeah. and oh yeah because since we moved yeah we moved with well, there's been a lot going on so, yeah, we're a little late. So that's why we're going to do the last spin on Friday. And what's cool about our, our giveaways, it's going to be 
100% transparent. There's nothing. There's not a, a third party coming in and selecting the winner like most No companies. pulling strings yeah, and all like that. Most companies do, right? The third party company, no, we're going to do it live and 100% transparent with our giveaways. So on Friday, we'll announce the winner on Friday, you know, no, no strings attached or nothing. Announce the winner on Friday. If the person whoever wins the sweepstake, if they're, excuse me, if they're watching the live, you know, congratulations. If they're not watching the live, but we announce the winner, we'll end up contacting them to let them know that, hey, you know, you won the sweepstakes live and we announced it live. If you want to go ahead and check it or when we post the live video up. But yeah, on Friday, we'll be announcing the winner for the sweepstakes. And once again, guys, it's $15,000 in stock credit at beakers.com. So if you want to, you know, if you want a chance to win that, make sure to go over to beakers.com. And all you have to do is just go over to, to our website, click on 15K Summer Swift Stick, and fill out this form. And once you do, you'll be automatically submitted to participate into our giveaway. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, this Friday. This Friday, uh, we'll be doing the live, announcing the winner. Um, and I don't know if oh, my phone just fell. So. <laughs> Break your phone. 15 plus. It's not a 14. But other than that, um. Okay, we got a question. Who is Honcho? I got a good question. If I put a wide body on an RT, do I need to change the suspension? On the RT, uh, you don't need to change the suspension because on an RT, was it a GT and XT? So, okay, so RT, no, you don't need to change the suspension. He has or, an RT? Yeah, oh, actually, no, you know what? We did mention. You could do either airbags because I know if you put a white body on an RT, you will have to do some cutting because since it's lowered. So you might actually, I think it's like a problem that you will have to change the suspension then, huh? He has a, he has a charger RT. Just RT. Yeah. I, th I think those said 2020 uh, said a little low, like they said a little lower. 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 So you might have to either cut or, up or go back back your 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 like if you want like airbag suspension so, lift so you up can the lift car. it up higher yeah. which we also offer at beakers.com we have uh, challenge we yeah. have air suspension for pretty much any vehicle that you can think of just go over to uh, website beakers.com and look up the air suspensions for your vehicle or if you don't want to get the suspension then yeah you will have to do some cutting yes you would have to do it yeah gabriel underscore gomez hello uh, and this is the wide angle for the um, for the I people in IG. That's the wide angle. Yeah. So if you guys want to see anything, oh, no, I'm actually looking for for a replacement for myself. So if you're if you, I'm firing Ben. Yeah, yeah he's he's firing me. I'm trying to get out of the life. Yeah, I'm I'm too boring. So guys, so <laughs> if you if you guys looking for if you looking for a job in Southern California, and you love vehicles and you're pretty have some knowledge about cars, you know. Um, just also when we, t we talk about random topics, like again, we did in the live where we're talking about the new iPhone, mm -hmm. you know, just random topics or, you know, you know, if you're including like the car community, you know, we want your insights on what just going to like, what do you think about it? So yeah, uh, we're looking for replacements for the lives. Uh, so like I said, um, so probably you will be joining me then on the Mondays and Wednesdays. Like I know Ben. No, no. Joined all, all days. Maybe I, I can come in maybe on special occasions, but I have a lot going on. Mm -hmm. So um, it would be maybe special occasions. But for the most part, we're looking for someone to fill in for me mm -hmm. and take over and help and, uh, help this guy out because he's kind of boring. So that's why I'm here. Mm. Uh, Ricky, and uh, I know the uh, we were mentioning that, that the uh, giveaway says it ends on 8.31, but what happens that during we ended up doing it late because since we moved. Yes, yes. So we were really busy with the move, so that's why we were able, never able to mention the winner of the sweepstakes. Yeah, and which is good. Now we have a better studio, better set. Where the the well, announcement is going to be a lot better. Studio we're under works. Yeah, under works. We're still working on it. We're we're gonna put a strip pole right here in the back, and we're gonna be, be bring some uh, <laughs> friends over. We're gonna get a bigger table. Yeah. So like, if we bring more people onto the live, you know, they'll be like right here. Yeah, but I'm not kidding about the <laughs> shit balls on the back. 
Uh, but yeah, so we moved. Therefore, it's been a we lot going late. on. Yeah. So we're like, I think a few weeks behind, maybe about, yeah, about a month. But we're going to be announcing the sweepstake winner on Friday. So um, stay tuned for that. Mm. And then Ricky yeah. and again, you guys hiring in Oregon. Uh, we don't have a warehouse in Oregon. We're oh, we don't have an office or location in Oregon. But it's uh, California and Oklahoma. Yeah, but if you're willing to relocate. I mean, he's just above us. Oregon is above California. They're right there on the border. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> then move to California. No, California is expensive. Man. <laughs> California is expensive. Yeah, it's <laughs> he, he probably has like a good deal over there. But yeah, we're not. We don't have a location up in Oregon. Not, not yet. You well, want to get like a location in every state? Maybe, maybe, maybe. That's the plan. Take over. Take over California. Like, take over the United like, States. Like those takeovers the the co- or mm. us car, car guys don't like, right? <laughs> Let's see who else joined. Okay, Christian underscore Moya1. I have a good question. If I do the white body kit for my Jeep Grand Cherokee, do I have to modify my suspension and what would be my tires and rim size? Okay, uh, so let me look into that right now really quick. Let me go over to the website. I think <sighs> the tires and rim size would be the same thing as like the Durango. So yes, you so mentioned that earlier. That's the same as the Durango. Oh, sorry. So if you look over to our sc- in the screen, one second, guys, for the people on YouTube. I'm sorry, guys, but we're using also Instagram. So if you just go over to our website and just go on the top where it says white body kits, it's going to come, it's going to show mm-hmm. all the white body kits that we have available for your vehicle. And, and the cheap white body, uh, the Trackhawk, you would, I mean, once again, the Durango wheels would also fit f- with your Jeep. And for that one, let me pull it out. Sorry. So you're going to need a 20 by 11 with a negative six offset. And Five by 127 bolt pattern. Yes, and we have them available also on our website. And these are the only two styles that we currently have, right? Mm-hmm. But if you want to go like the extra mile and you want to be a little unique, we also have custom uh, three piece, piece, two three piece, piece rims, two piece, and uh, one piece wheels, forge wheels. You can also go that route, but it really comes down to your personal preference, right? Um, it's up to you, whatever you know you decide on doing. As for the, s- would you need to cut? That's something I don't. I believe you. You don't. I'm not. Uh, I'm not too familiar with the truck hawks. Since we never had one. Yeah. We never so had a truck. So you might, you might, you might, ha- you might be able to get away if you if you get like um, lower profile uh, tires. Mm-hmm. But I'm not 110 per- percent sure. I, I think you should. You, you you shouldn't be able to. C- you you don't need to cut. But if you do, it you can either cut or go with bags. Yeah. Because we know like from the charger. Because when we did the wide body kit on the newer charger, we did see how low it was. So. There was some cutting when we did the wide body kit on the Challenger. Being that that was an SXT, it was already lifted. We didn't have to do no cutting at all. And then for the Durango, we did the wide body kit. There was no cutting we had to do. So probably for the uh, Jeep, because if it's a newer year, because the Durango is a newer year. It was a newer year Durango that we did, and we did not have to cut at all. You know, everything fit perfectly. And so for probably for your Jeep, because since we've never done one, um, if it's a newer year, you know, we'll we'll probably see. Or, you know, if you end up buying the kit from us, you know, you could probably do it like, you know, be the guinea pig if you want to. No, no, no. I I don't believe you need to. There's a few questions actually on IG that I don't think we touched based on. Mm -hmm. This is from Daytona Puppet 392. What What tire you guys carry for the white body wheels? It's a 305s, 35s by 20s, right? Mm-hmm. Yes. Those are the wheels. Those are the tire size that we recommend. 35s. No, I'm sorry. 305, 305. 305s, 35s by 20s. That's the, s- the perfect size for your wide body wheels mm-hmm. that we carry. Mm-hmm. Uh, Let's see what else question. Uh, yeah, we already did that one. Ricky N says, if I move out there to work for you guys, do y'all cover housing? And mm. Oklahoma, yeah, maybe. Mm. And Oklahoma, yes. In California, no. California, if I, uh, you <laughs> cover my housing, please. <laughs> I'm looking for housing too, bro. How much for the? Okay, from D no S L W underscore D Mon twenty one. How much for friendly for a twenty twenty one Dodge Charger? Raven. Uh, let me see. I'm trying to see that. Dodge Charger twenty twenty one. 
Does he say what? Uh, uh, I would say, what's the white body? The front leap for the white body, remember? BC 10, 20. It's not the 1765. No, no, no. We have a white body wheel. The 22 something. Lip. Yeah, lip for the for the white body wheel. Which one is it? Why are you saying white body wheel? No, the white body charger. <laughs> like, But then again, what type of lip is he talking about? Is he talking about front splitter or is he talking about yeah, like are lip? You talk, uh, are you talking about front lip because or some people, the charger? Because some people get that mixed up. They keep saying lip and then they're actually talking about like the front splitters. I'm think I'm thinking the, he's referring to the front lip. Well, do you know the part number? I know there's two. It's seventeen something. No, it's twenty two something. Twenty two and thirty. We have two. That's why we have two different. No, ones. I, I think it's a twenty two thirty. Give me a second. Let me look it up real quick. BC 10, 10, 22, 30, I think. No, what's the part number? Do you remember the white body? White body. White body. Charger front lip. Front B, Chris. Let me see. Okay, so part number, part number for that would be, let me pull it up real quick. It's BC 10, 22, 30. 22, BC 10, 22, 30. So this, I think it's the 17 something that is the narrow body then, huh? Yes. BC 10, 22, 30. Once again, BC 10, 22, 30. So going back to the questions once again. Which also, if you go, if you looked on it again, that being that's the wide body lip, it gave the option for the front splitter as well. What do you mean? Oh, yes, yes. It, it gave it like at the, the second tab in the 2099, the front splitter for the wide body. He gave it to. So, yeah, he could choose between the lip or front splitter because he didn't specify. Yes. And then uh, I have another question from Nemo underscore Ben. I'm oh, sorry. I don't have my glasses. Bands. Bands. Nemo. Yeah. How do I make a 2016 Chevy Impala faster? You, you, you can't. You just buy another, another vehicle. I'm kidding. I don't know. <laughs> a Chevy Impala. In 2016 a Chevy Impala. It's just a normal base four model car. I don't know. I think you might have to I modify know. a turbo kit for it. Just buy like a turbo kit for something like that. You could somehow base it off of a Chevy Impala and just modify it. Okay, I have another one from Jack. Jack what? Jack, do you boo do you? I'm sorry, am I mur murdering your name? Wait, because so one, one of these questions was this. Wait, wait, no, no. I have an orange Hemi edition. Would you be able to do a forged carbon and orange steering wheel? Yes. Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, so for for we we can pretty much customize fully customize your steer, the steering wheel for for any vehicle. Just head over to vickers.com. On the top it says steering wheels. Go over, uh, click on steering wheels, and then select your make model and year, and you can you know put any customize your way. Forge carbon and regular car. So we got gloss carbon fiber, matte carbon, and forge carbon. Yes. For the finishes that you want, and then. It will just come out as black on the website, like the black carbon. But then you guys, you choose the color. I'll give you the option. Same thing goes for the leather or Alcantara. You know, change the color, stitching as well. And then you could choose either if you want LED, non-LED, which would then be a 12 o'clock ring, which the 12 o'clock ring as well, you could change the color. Or you could just put no 12 o'clock ring or non-LED. And then I have another one from us. Uh, S once again, no glasses here. Stubby, big, yo, myself. Yeah, I don't have my glasses. Hey, how much do you guys charge for a Hellcat white body kit with paint? With paint? Yeah, so I'm guessing he's he wants asking us to if paint. If, yeah, if we pre paint the, the charger kits. Unfortunately, we don't offer any paint jobs. We ev Everything we sell, we sell it pre uh, unpainted. Mm -hmm. Why? Because it's really, really hard to. Um, um, match your paint or like pre paint and then match your vehicle even though even if we have the the bin called the bin number um but yeah we tried it at the beginning it's just it's better it's better if, if you just match it to your vehicle because sometimes over time paint tends to wear off mm -hmm. like the density of the paint's brightness so it's a little tricky. Also, th we don't want to risk the whole like since we, after we paint it, after we paint it for you, then we have to ship it to you. It'll end up like the paint will end up getting scratched in transit. You yes, know? yes. Because then and then it's also the time consuming as well. Because when we take the parts to go get painted, you know, depending how busy the the paint shop is, 
they have to sand it all down, make everything smooth, paint it like with the coats and everything. You know how many times? So, um, and then again, also the packaging. We don't want to be shipping out. Um, we don't want to ship out the parts with the paint that you want, and then in transit, it somehow gets damaged. Like the paint gets damaged. That's the one thing we don't want them to kind of like risk too. I don't know. If, I, I don't know if we answered this before, and this is from Christian Moyo. 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 Yeah, he's the one for the Essex. The for the Trahawk. Yeah. Okay, he's asking what rims and tire sides for the. Did you answer that one? That was what you were you were answering. You oh, answered yeah, yeah. the rims, but the tires you never mentioned. It's same same thing. Three hundred five, thirty five, twenty. Mm-hmm. I got a. Uh, so this is from who is Honcho. I have, I have a good question. If I put a white body on RT, do I need to change the suspension? Okay, we answered that one. That we one. answered that one already. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks. Yes. Mm, what I else? think. Uh, yes. Did you answer this one? SRE, SRT8 underscore Joel. I have a 2008 Charger SRT8, and I've been putting Vipers 2008 from wind splitter and side splitters and i also bought extra front splitter and uh you have to like specify uh, or re- so can you rewrite your question because i have no I, I i understand why you've what you've bought but i don't understand your question yeah you put i don't think there's a question in there is there i don't know i don't know if he's probably trying to put a question it's like oh yeah i have an s a 2008 charger and then i bought the front splitter size splitter kit for 2018. Well, I don't think it has a, there's a question on it. Mm-hmm. Um, if you do have a question on it, can you, uh, is there a possibility you could like rewrite it? Yeah. Cause I, th- I think we it was can't, we can't understand like what I you think it was just stating what, what he bought. 2018 front wind splitter. So he's talking about the front splitter and side skirts and also bought extra front splitter. Yeah, there's no question. Bas- there's basically no question in there. Okay, so th- okay, so this is one of one of the topics I want to talk about. Let's go over to number four. Sorry, number four. And I know for the IG people, let me pull this out. Can you read from there, Raven? Wild price for a new Apple Car. More details on Apple's car, Apple's iCar heavily, including a staggering price tag as the release date of a new product looms. Can you read that from there? Rumors are more fervent than ever that Apple will branch out from its future product offering and release f- the, first the first ever, ever. iCar, but it's said that the vehicle won't come cheap. Let's see. Soon being that's kind of cut out, I can't see like whatever the f- like. First it says part. Apple has spent the past decade s- skirting rumors of the iCar, but since Tesla's explosion popularity. Popularity. popularity it starts that the tech giant is developing a product in earnest even elon Musk has confirmed you apples apples working on a vehicle is an open secret in the industry telling the bbc in 2016 it's pretty hard to hide if you hire a thousand engineers to do it apple <laughs> tells appear to confirm the news the same year telling u.s transport regulators it was excited about the potential of automatic systems in many areas including transportation the vehicle unfortunately dubbed the iCart is reportedly known by the Apple engineers working on it as Project Titan Project Titan Titan so Titan I know so what that means now that when the car comes out it's going to be like what the Apple Titan I don't know but it kind of looks <laughs> like any it other it looks I- like another SUV that like I've any already other seen SUV, yeah I don't think it looks any di- anything different though it looks like pretty much like it almost looks like the Hornet. In a way, yeah. In a, in a way, the only difference is the headlights, and then it has the Apple logo. Okay. Go. Apple iCar features. Apple's first ever vehicle is expected to run on its in-house operating system, iOS, which isn't particularly surprising since the advent since it's the advent of Apple CarPlay. Oh, okay. That means that the car will initially link to the iPhone, Likely with a built-in display of which users can play music, uh, can you stop moving? navigate maps, and potentially even unlock and start the vehicle. Oh, so what? So that means like if you lose your key or something, you could just use your phone and unlock the car. Yeah, that's kind of cool. 
The i car is expected to be a competitor to Tesla, meaning it's a it's expected to be electric, no doubt about it. That also means it probably won't be a sports car, but rather a cruiser or SUV. Yeah, because Apple making a sports car is, doesn't sound likely. Let's see. Georgie Terdors, Terdorsi? I don't know. Or Georgia-based industrial designer. You changed it. Ben. I changed it? Yeah, you freaking pressed one of the buttons. Oh, sorry. Let's see. Georgia-based industrial designer released images of what he believes the Apple uh, iCar may look like. So that picture that we just saw right now is probably what it looks like eventually. Initially, it was reported that the iCar would be entirely autonomous, as in with a, without a steering wheel or pedals, and users could relax watch TV. So they're bringing, basically bringing up like the whole iCar like AI in it, that the car is not going to have no steering wheel, no gas pedals or brakes. That it's just gonna go drive by itself while you could just be like relaxing in it. Yeah, like like Tesla already does, no? No, they're saying because Tesla has a steering wheel and the and pedals, okay. I believe. They're saying that for this one, that Apple's gonna release it with no steering wheel at all, no steering wheel, no gas pedal, no brake pedal, nothing. Nothing whatsoever. That it's just gonna be like you get in, you sit down, relax, and the car just drives off by itself. Probably like if you put like. In your phone, you'll probably put like, oh, well, I want to go to Vegas. Then it's going to drive for you to Vegas. So. So you, you don't you, you don't think that's something you might want in the future? In the future? I remember earlier, like earlier, we were talking about in the future, like far future. Right at the moment, right now, I still rather prefer driving. I mean, you, you can't really beat um, a muscle car, right? Hmm? Like, uh, you can't beat a muscle car. Yeah, you can't. No. Not unless you have a sports car or a hyper car. True. Let's see. And the users could relax, watch TV, or play games as the vehicle drove as the vehicle drove them around. More recently, though, industry experts say have said that technology isn't yet feasible. Let's see, there it goes. According to multiple sources, Apple is more likely to be aiming for a less ambitious model. A Bloomberg report, for instance, suggests the iCar will have both steering wheels and pedals. When only, what are you doing, dude? Sorry, sorry. And will only be semi-autonomous. So now they're saying that they're going to change it to just like regular, like a uh, regular electric car. So it will have the gas pedals and the steering wheel. And uh, what do you? How do you? How do you think it's going to compete with? Um, what do you call it with Tesla? Well, apparently it's not competing to Tesla yet because they haven't released it. But it's 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 going to be. These released. are just basically all this right now is just news. Uh, speculations. No, it's just speculations. There's nothing. Um. There's nothing basically shown. You know, Tesla's already been open for, like, years, and they've come up with all their vehicles and everything. So right now, Apple, they're ju it's just all speculation that this is what they want for their car, but they haven't, like, you know, they haven't done no tests or nothing. You know, probably, like, if we go to SEMA, uh, and like, later on this month, are they, is Apple going to have, like, their own little booth to show what they're going to have? You know, like a, like a little presentation of, like, oh, what's to come? Because if they show that, then, you know, a lot of people are going to believe or also, like, start expecting these things. But right now, it's just basically all news. It's just all news. Okay, and the same report suggests that the vehicle will be autonomous on freeways, but it will alert drivers to switch over to manual control if they're... If they reach city streets or inclement weather, the feature will also will likely launch in North America first, of course, before being improved and expanding over time. <laughs> so, yeah. The features will likely be first in America before they improve the car. So, <laughs> so essentially, we're going to be the guinea pigs, right? Yeah, basically, yeah, we're going to be the guinea pigs here. And um, everyone here in the North America is going to be the guinea pigs to try out the Apple iCar. I mean, Gabriel underscore Gomez. I'm, looking I'm, forward a to the I'm Apple in general, or I don't know, just basically that Apple is overrated. Uh, I mean, in reality, it is because everyone it, thinks. A, I mean, in a way, it is. But mm -hmm. it, you can't really um, deny the fact that it's so so user friendly. It's, it's useful, so it, yeah, it's and useful. it's so convenient, right? It's yeah, pretty it's convenient. useful and convenient. So it is overrated because you know everyone's like, oh, Apple this, Apple that, Apple this, Apple that. So it is overrated. So agree with you on that one. But then also, it's reliable right now. Like, say, like I have an iPhone right now. So I mean, it's useful for me because some of the stuff I had to do requires me. Uh, let's see what else. There was another question here. Uh, doo -doo -doo -doo. I could have sworn there was another question here. 
Oh, yeah. From Gabriel Gomez again. Self-driving should replace Lyft and others. Uh, we were talking about that earlier, too. There was this news um, uh, report that we saw uh, here in California up in San Francisco that a taxi service was starting to use self-driving cars. And that they had, like, you know, they were testing them out, having them go pick up people. And apparently it was doing so bad because they would die out in the middle of the streets, being that there's no one driving them. You know, people could do whatever they want in the cars. So, I mean, eventually that's going to be, like, the same thing for AI, eventually in the future for, like, self-driving cars. That, yeah, they could replace eventually, like, Lyft and Uber. Um, yeah, and Uber. Like, I know apparently, like, right now here in California, we do have this little AI robot that apparently delivers food. But apparently it's there's a problem with that, too, because it ends up getting stuck somewhere. As it stops, people just open up the thing, steal the food, or mess with the robot, and they tip it over. So, yeah, I think, like, right now we're not really, like, ready for those. Wait, free food where? I'm kind of hungry right now. <laughs> free food. No, nah, we're just talking about, like, the AI, like, how the uh, self-driving. Uh, it's actually in uh, Seattle, I think, up north in California. Wait, no, I, just, north, I north talked about Cal- that no, right no, now. But north in California, there's already, like, even mm. in Texas, I think, it's in, like, self-driving taxis already. That's right. I was talking about oh, that Ubers, in San Francisco. Yeah. But oh, apparently San Francisco, that yeah, yeah. But yeah. that it was a problem because that some of the cars, like, there was, they showed it one time in the news report that was, like, 10 of them all stopped in one spot blocking off traffic. And they couldn't start. Like, they didn't start at all, that they had to end up sending over, like, their technicians to come and get the cars. Yeah, but, uh, I mean, whether you you like it or not, Raven, mm-hmm. like, it's just AI is the future, self-driving cars. AI is self-driving cars. A- is the AI future. literally is taking over. We I you, know. We, we, we use it here daily. Um, all, everything you see right now, even our content right now that's being produced, it's going to get where right now. I mean, something uh, a really key f- cool feature that we've been using lately is that you're able to translate all of our content to different languages. Mm-hmm. We just went into Spanish. We just opened up a YouTube channel in Spanish, which is pretty cool. Basically, we're just like re releasing all of our old videos from back then, but we just put the Spanish like in uh, uh, voiceover over yes. it. And it sounds so natural. It's it's unbelievable, right? Uh, not only that, but eventually it's going to take bad over. lip reading. Bad away. lip reading. Bad lip reading. Yeah. Uh, from SRTA Joel, my wing and I know need a rear diffuser and don't know which one would be easy to custom fit in my car. Sorry, didn't let me write my whole question. So your question <laughs> is that you need like my wing and now I. Are you saying that now you need a diffuser? No, he, he like first he you were letting us know no. that what you bought from us, but and then now you're saying that you need a diffuser, but you don't know which one to fit your car. He wrote something. He wrote something else. Uh, if you keep scrolling down, all right, that's why I did. He hasn't written anything else yet. Okay, but uh, let's let's keep going with. Uh, I'm I'm kind of honest. Obviously, I'm I'm kind of excited for the Apple car. Just because it's, you know, the more competition, the better mm-hmm. between Tesla and all the electric vehicles. So, th- which is going to uh, cause for more I- innovation from multiple manufacturers, which is eventually, w- which it would um, create a better product. Yeah. So, uh, here, Raven. You don't think that eventually, like, even if we get an Apple like, iCar, we can't make mods for it? Oh, wait. I don't know. Apple, Apple's kind of like... Fuck. That's what I'm saying. They're pretty strict when it comes to doing anything to their products, right? That's so what I'm saying. It's just, just it, like right? Ferrari. Ferrari's the same way. Y- you think we'll, we'll get a lawsuit or something? Probably. That's something to think about. So you, If you get the Apple iCar, this is going to be like your daily driver. We ain't going to do nothing to it. So if you plan to modify it, don't get an Apple car, I guess, right? If you get an Apple iCar, you're just going to use it as like a daily driving car, then okay. But don't get it if you think you're going to try to be able to modify it. Maybe if we talk to, who's the CEO, current CEO of Apple right now? Mm-hmm. Don't care. Don't care, man. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Apple iCar release date. The reported release date of the highly anticipated vehicle has already been pushed back several times. See, because I remember I first heard about, like I said, like in 2019, I think I heard about like, oh, the news. 
Most recently, it's been reported Apple is gearing towards a launch date between 2025 and 2027 by analyst Ming-Ching Hyo, who has a credible track recording of predicting Apple products, recently said that the tech giant will have to make some major acquisitions if it's to release the iCar in 2025. He said Apple will likely have to buy up technology from existing EV and autonomous car makers, tweeting last week, if Apple does, doesn't does adopt any acquisition strategy to enter the automotive market, I doubt that the Apple car can go into mass production within the next years. True, because basically Apple doesn't have that much stuff, no like engineering for cars. You know, they're all just relied on like technology for like phone, TV, and laptops. And it's just like the actual like renders of what the vehicle is going to look like supposedly like that's what the photos yeah like the engineers who are making it one of the top engineers like release these photos saying like oh yeah this is what the uh, uh, i car is going to look like okay and then let's 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 touch bases on the price i guess Uh, okay with all of its flashy features hardly to imagine apple's i car will come cheap auto website supercar blondie recently oh i've heard of her yeah uh, recently forecast the vehicle will sit within the same price range as its main predicted competitors, Tesla Models X and Sony's new Afella EV. Oh, I didn't know Sony had an EV car. What the? And Sony has an Sony EV has car? Sony has an EV car too? I never heard of that. I didn't know that either. That's crazy. What the heck? So we have their cameras. Now they have, they're probably watching us through their cameras. Like, hey, we see you're talking about our car. Uh, that means its price will be around dang the f- one fifteen hundred, one hundred fifty thousand dollar U.S. a hundred thousand dollar mark. So basically, around a hundred thousand to a hundred fifteen fifty thousand dollars for an Apple iCar. God damn, that's not cheap. That's the same price as like a hundred fifty right there. It's like almost. Wait, 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 wait. It says that it will come cheap. Is that cheap? It won't come cheap. Won't, the, won't no, come. I said it will come cheap. It won't come cheap. Oh, it's hard to imagine that the car cheap. will come okay, cheap. Okay, okay. Like, it's hard to imagine. It's hard to imagine. Okay, never mind. I thought it was uh, it will come cheap. That is saying that it will come cheap, and they're like, dang, you think the Apple thinks that's cheap? And they're they're ballers, man, over there. So, the 100000 mark, that was about, like, the same price we paid for the Corvette when we got it. Yeah, well, a little bit less. Well, still. Mm-hmm. But a hundred and fifty thousand dollars range for and a car that's an electric. As long as it's faster than uh, Tesla Roadster, not not Roadster, the Model S Plaid, Plaid, then I think they'll be able to get away with that price. Mm-hmm. But it, it, any slower than one fifty is going to be a little hard to to justify. If it's if it's just around within you know the supercars exotic cars like zero to sixty then I think uh, they have a um, you know yeah a chance to compete otherwise nah. I mean even though it has all those nice features it's it's be st- that's still like too much Gabriel Undercar Gomez says I think only companies to get electric cars right is Charge Mustang I think uh, they meant to put Charger. But basically, like Dodge and and Ford right now, are like also like all the other are like the other two companies right now that are actually getting like electric cars right. So besides like Tesla, and then uh, not Toyota because they don't have an electric car; they have a hybrid car. But like basically like Ford because they came out with well, again like the Mach Three, and then Dodge now that they're coming out with the Banshee, and uh, apparently there's been no problems. Wait, wait. So, Do- uh, Dodge or Mopar or Basically, it's no more Mopar. But they, they don't have one, they don't have an electric car yet, apart from the Banshee, right? Have That's fine. It's just the Banshee and yeah. the Hornet. Oh, and the but is the Hornet fully electric? Yeah. Is it? Remember, we went over that. That okay. That's why you want to get it. Okay, I don't know. So basically, the Banshee and the Hornet are both speed Dodge's electric cars, and then Ford already has the Mach Three SUV. You know, it's been out already for I think a year, year or two. I think it's been out already. The Mach Three. Yeah, I, I think, think it's been like two years now. Yeah, a couple of years now. Yeah, so yeah, basically that like Dodge and um, Dodge and Ford are basically like all the other. Uh, that me. Wait, did I know Charge. Dot UK is a company that made a classic EV Mustang. 
What? No Charge UK is a company that made a classic EV Mustang. Okay, and going back to SRT8 underscore Joel. He's, uh, he I said he DM'd us he his he question. Yeah, he DM'd. Okay, so well, thank you for the DM. We'll, we'll go ahead and address your question because I think it, your question is way too long, so that's why we are naming. Yeah, that's what he's saying, too, that yeah. apparently it's not letting him write his full question. Yeah. So we'll go ahead and check your DMs. And then m make sure to, to get that address, okay? Mm hmm but other than that, I think we're good, right? I think it's been a long, it's, it's been pretty informative. Once again, if you guys want to come in and replace me, send us, send, a, send, firing him. Yeah, if you want to come in and replace me, Kicking him to send the an email to Ethan, you at thecurs.com. Once again, that's Ethan, and that's E T H A N, you at thecurs.com. Send a resume. Maybe a 30 second video too, if you can link a 30 second video with, uh, sh you know, so we can see, no. you know, you have to be knowledgeable. It's somewhat knowledgeable about yeah. cars, you know, you can have like fun topics to talk about and stuff, but yeah. And then again, like, you know, we're going to be like right here, just like face to face, looking over the stuff, you know, you're not camera shy, you know, you're also computer, like tech savvy. Nah. Yeah, sort of, but mostly more. We're looking more for personality, knowledgeable within the car community, mm -hmm. and uh, that's pretty much it, honestly. Yeah. The tech tech service, we have tech people here, mm -hmm. but I think you should be good other than that. And once again, that's Ethan, you at vehicles.com, and that's E T H A N. I'm sorry, E T H A N, a -N U at vehicles.com. Send a resume. And if you're in the, for people located in the Southern California, in the greater Los Angeles, Orange Angeles, County, Orange LA County, County. Bit borderlining LA County and borderlining Orange, Orange County. County. So we're right in between. Send an uh, email with your resume. Once again, we're going to be doing the giveaway on this Friday's live. This Friday on Next Life, we're going to do in the giveaway for the 15K. For the $15,000 stock credit for the sweepstake. Basically, we're like, yeah, a month late. Yeah, we're a month late. Apologize for that. Um, and just the sh shameless plugs. Sh shameless plug. If if you want to save extra, make sure to to become a Beakers Plus member. Any product with a Beakers Plus sign, it gives it gives you discounted prices for all of all of our products. And then also and discount codes also do stack up along with that. Yes, yes, uh, they do stack up. So you for extra savings, make sure to y for you to become a Beakers Plus member. It's less than an OF, you know, OF subscription. So <laughs> it's worth. It's definitely worth the money. Uh, but don't forget to subscribe to his OnlyFans OF. To my boy over here, mine still, you know, I still have my um, what do you call it? <laughs> I'm trying to be funny here. <laughs> trying to come out with something. Yeah. <laughs> with something uh, funny at least to add on to it yeah but i think <laughs> i think my joke was not didn't didn't quite work but other than that thank you guys so much for you know sticking with us and coming into this live yeah and then uh, i had to adjust the white shot just because you try to get like more image of the back yeah so you guys could see. and then because we're going live on both ig and, and instagram so it's a little harder to to get the uh, right in between so because ig live is what crops it it crops it completely like a nine, 16 by 9 or 19 9 by 16 or whatever mm -hmm. but other than that thank you guys so much for sticking with us for uh, an hour and whatever minutes we've been on live so far and yeah anything else you'd like to do, to say before we so yeah this? just thank you for all the love and support thank you for all these uh, these long eight years again don't forget to like comment subscribe on the youtube channels and also on the live don't forget to hit us up on Instagram. You know, we're on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, uh, TikTok, and uh, YouTube. OF. OF, too. So, yeah. Thank you guys so much for stopping by this live. We see you guys Friday. Uh, I believe, I don't know what time we're going to do Fridays. Uh, we could do, I don't know. What do you think? What do you think? Should we go? Either like two time? or five. Two. two or five. Two or five. I don't know. Uh, if if you guys st still, uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna, to, I'm going to leave this on, on our IG. If you can comment, what time would you guys would you guys prefer? Two p.m. Pacific, or five p.m. Pacific? For the e so five p.m. will be eight eight p.m. for you guys in, in, in the East, East Coast. Coast. So, um, 
I think probably like around two because I I know we're more active, actually. Really? Yeah. Because being that it's two here, over there in the East Coast, it'll be five over there. Yeah, so people get up from work all the time. Yeah, but that, they're still awake. And what, uh, 5 p.m. people are not awake? By 8, they're sometimes tired or stuff. Oh, are they going now? Yeah, that too. So They're going to stick. St- well, either way, else? whatever what time that we decide to do, if you guys follow us on Instagram, if you guys are subscribed to YouTube channel, you guys will get the notification right there. Yeah. And as always, guys, it was a pleasure. Thank you for sticking with us. And we'll see you guys. And the next time. Next time.